earlier on in a calculus or linear algebra course, you may have seen that points in the plane and vectors from the origin to a point in the plane are identified, used interchangeably. We can do this for the complex plane too. We can view complex numbers z equals x plus i y as a vector from the origin to the point x, y. This is useful if we want to apply geometric properties, which we know from vectors, to complex numbers, as you will see in this video. So what I'm going to do, we are going to take a point z equals x plus i y and the factor with components x and y, uh, and we uh, both plot them in the complex plane. Here we have the complex number z and the factor from the origin to z. And then we see that certain properties are the same for vectors and for complex numbers. For example, if you add two vectors, v1 and v2, uh, you add x1, y1 and x2, y2, you get x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2, component-wise. And if you add two complex numbers, x1 plus i times y1 plus x2 plus i times y2, you get x1 plus x2 plus i times y1 plus y2, you also add those component-wise. So you can view addition of two complex numbers in the complex plane as addition of two vectors in the plane. That works the same. Something else also works the same if you look at the norm of a vector and the norm of a complex number. There are different quantities, but if you compute them uh, in the plane, they happen to be exactly the same. So it means that uh, addition works the same as subtraction as well, and also norms work the same for factors and for complex numbers. So what's different then between them? Well, for example, if you take the product of two factors, you will typically take the dot product, and that's something different than taking the product of two complex numbers. So there they are not the same anymore. So uh, what does this tell us? Well, if you have two complex numbers, Z1 and Z2, we can view them as two factors, V1 and V2, and then the factor of the difference, V2 minus V1 over here, uh, the norm of that factor is exactly the length of the rest factor over there, is the distance uh, between the two complex numbers Z1 and Z2. So we can view the distance between two complex numbers as the norm of the factor which is be in between them. And we can use that property, for example, in this example over here. Find all the points satisfying the equation Z minus 1 times minus i, from that the uh, norm equals 1. Of course you can use brute force, write z equals x plus i y and work everything out and you will find your answer. But you can also view this geometrically. You see, well, I can rewrite this as the norm of z minus 1 plus i. So variable uh, z, variable complex number z, minus fixed complex number 1 plus i. And the difference of those norms equals exactly 1. That means that the distance between a fixed complex number 1 plus i and a variable complex number is always the same. But that means that the, the distance between a fixed point and all other points is the same. Well, you know what that means geometrically. Uh, you, that means that the distance between your fixed point uh, 1 plus i and all the other points is the same. So that means that all the other points have to lie on a circle with center 1 plus i and with uh, r squared 1, so uh, with r equals 1. So that is where all the points are satisfying the equation norm of z minus 1 minus i equals 1, uh, which is uh, a much nicer view than a uh, much nicer way to solve this exercise than just brutally work everything out. So this is an example of how you can view complex numbers geometrically.